So I've recently watched the first two episodes of HBO's Watchmen show and frankly, yeah, it's good. At times it doesn't feel like the quality of a HBO show, the ones you'd see outputted normally, True Detectives, Game of Thrones, those kinds of ones. Maybe not Game of Thrones anymore. Um, the show's good, which is why I was kind of struck when I checked the IMDB and Metacritic scores, particularly the user scores. The user score for Watchmen on Metacritic stands at 41, which is pretty low. And if you contrast that to what the actual overall score is by critics, it's on an 85. So you'd be like, okay, so why is there a stark contrast between Metascore and user score? After watching the first episode, I felt like I knew why that might be the case, because the show heavily pushes on racism, white supremacy, injustice against black people, police brutality, it covers a bunch of themes. So that's why when I went onto these user scores, I was not surprised when I read the reviews of them. Uh, so let's just go through and find some of these reviews. So here, uh, Double Doors user review. This show could have been decent if they'd done two things. Cut out the social commentary, seriously, cop brutality is bad and racism is bad. Something we all know, it gets pushed into our faces every single day and we don't need any more of that. Well, frankly, Double Door, I think you are a bit of an idiot. Saying racism is bad and cop brutality is bad, we all know that, yet the events still occur day to day amongst millions of people across the world all the time, injustices and all. And saying we don't need any more of that kind of defeats the point. If we didn't need any more of it, then they wouldn't exist. So probably, yeah, we might still need to educate some, some people on the topics of how not to behave in society, how police shouldn't behave, how you shouldn't treat others of a different skin, race, nationality. Yeah, I think you're an idiot. So yeah, here we have Ino Kenji, um, who, yeah, who says that? It's gonna be blunt, they're racist. I mean, yeah. Robin, one, two, three, four. Just some woke propaganda using Watchmen as bait has nothing to do. I love that word, woke. I say, I say, as soon as you use the word woke, it's like you've just got this hierarchy of, I don't know, social commentary, which you're allowed to say. Oh, that's woke. This video is woke. MDD8, oh yeah, it's trash. More blatant anti-white propaganda. They are not even hiding it anymore. <laughs> they're, not even, they're not even hiding it anymore, you know, as if it was uh, this kind of underground secrecy. And there it is again by Rabid Primate, my favorite word. Watchmen in name only. If you're not part of the cult of woke, it's just strange and boring. Apparently you have to not be a racist to enjoy Watchmen. Or maybe, let's turn, let's turn it back from even being racist. You have to be civilized to enjoy Watchmen. A rabid primate is saying that they didn't enjoy the show because they are not civilized. I mean, whose fault's that? So I kind of scoured through IMDb as well just to see what the themes were like, if they were consistent amongst the sites. And lo and behold, this was what we got straight away. The whole race preaching thing, I kind of get, but it's extremely heavy handed and disjointed. I imagine the writers of the show are all purple haired? Are all purple haired rain oh I get it. Are all purple haired rainbow pin wearing woke white people patting each other on the back and believing they've made something really deep. You think a show about a show that tackles racism, police brutality, and uh, white supremacy, especially considering the events of the opening of Watchmen, uh, the Tulsa Massacre, is a real thing. I only found about found out about it because of the show. I did some research after and still reading into it. So people who address these issues have to be woke is the seeming theme of this if that's the case i i'm, I'm woke and proud they took everything that was good about watchmen and rosarch then defecate <laughs> oh it's the last jedi one as well then defecate all over it last jedi style as if that is now like a verb a way of doing something i was gonna do my homework but then i just completely last jedi it <laughs> This isn't Watchmen, it's Wokeman. Sorry, Wokes person. Do you get it? Do you get it? You can't say watch men or watch women. It's, it's watch person. That's the joke. If you go through these reviews, they're pretty much consistent. Like, at least the negative ones are. There are some civilized people out there that are actually appreciating the show. And it's because the show shows a light of like white people being the aggressors inside but for two hours i say i say that there are still white people on the police force in this there are still white people who like black people there are still white people who like white people there are black people who like white people there is just a small demographic of white supremacists that are white supremacists people are angry about that huh i wonder which demographic they fall into they basically have this conspiracy theory that hollywood just pumps out anti-white propaganda but they kind of don't understand the ramifications of what it's like showing black people as stereotypically thugs in a lot of films or myself um a muslim as a terrorist i mean i watched the bodyguard 
and yep guess what that was a muslim terrorist spoiler alerts four lions and guess what i had a bunch of people talking to me about sharia law as if i was some kind of expert and knew all about terrorism spoiler i don't i remember watching the the kingdom with a white friend of mine who became terrified of muslims after that film it's always derogatory it's always in a negative light that's how i feel with the muslims well you never watch something with muslims and it's they're just muslim so i have to continuously watch anti-muslim films and be told that i'm evil and be told watch out for me i'm the boogeyman and when we see it and it, it does annoy us but at the same time we're not mass downvoting bodyguard i watched it i liked it i mean so yeah, that was my dive into Watchmen reviews. First two episodes, the show is solid. And yeah, it's a shame that these people are mass downvoting it on the basis that they're racist. The basis that they're racist. That is a, that is a rhyme to end this video.